Richard Blanco was selected by President Obama as the nation's fifth, only the fifth, inaugural poet, joining the ranks of such luminaries as Robert Frost and Maya Angelou. He captured the nation with his inaugural poem, One Today. A historic poet, storyteller, and internationally sought after speaker, he is the author of several books, including For All of Us, One Today, an inaugural poet's journey, which will be released next week. Anderson Cooper described the book as a moving and intimate memoir to transform lives and illuminate truths. And the text president, Tim Richard, who you saw earlier, had this to say, John join Richard on his journey from a sentimental view of America to one of clear-eyed hope. Learn from his insight about what knits us together as Americans and as humans. Who better than a civil engineer and a poet to envision the foundation for a community characterized by dignity, beauty, and opportunity? In honor of the Tech Awards, Richard Blanco has written a poem that he will present now for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Richard Blanco. In honor of tonight's laureates, our global humanitarian, of all of us gathered here tonight and around the world who believe in a better tomorrow, I give you this. The genius of stars and love. The tiny billing eyes of the stars have seen it all. They've watched us as long as we have stared up at them. Their twinkle whispering in our eyes. Eons before our tongues tamed breaths into words that could name them, chart and connect them in the likeness of our heroes, gods, and beasts. They knew our minds would dare kindle fire, fire to cook, to draw and write with soot, fire to reach the moon someday, someday to aim toward their sparkle. They knew once they heard the first tree we felled and hollowed into a hull, cutting across the mirror of a lake to a far shore simply because, because there was a farther shore. They held our hands, stitching sails to cup wind across seas, gliding over the flat earth before it was round to us. Oh, they knew. Following us as we followed them for centuries, mapping our world in pastel colors, then stitching continents with tracks, roads veining across the land. They knew we'd solve the mystery of bones and feathers and forge steel into wings for ourselves. Kiln sand into glass to peer into our cells, dividing our atoms spinning and right into the heart of their starriness, breathing, burning like our own bodies. They saw us speak with smoke, 
then dots and dashes. Now the eavesdrop on our voices, on our pixels made air. Traveling at the speed of light through our satellites like fireflies amongst them in the night sky. 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 From which they've also mourned our wars, pitied our crisp air turned heavy and dark, our reflections drowned in rivers and lakes, spoiled by our spoils, our land stripped barren by drought and flood. They knew, they knew, but they waited, hoping someday we'd understand what we're and understanding now, right here. It takes the soul's mind as much as the gears of love. If we are to survive ourselves and reach their starlight someday. Love, to graph the arc of a child's smile, tasting fresh water, tasting a fresh tomorrow. Love, to design an arm of steel for an armless man and measure the joy in his eyes, able to touch his wife's face again. Love to calculate what we took and must return to the earth to sow the seeds of a farmer's trust. Love to integrate all the voices of the voiceless into the gigabytes of words claiming the world Love, to harness the light that gives life and saves life. The same light of the stars that have always known this. Love, love. Love is our wisest formula, our most elegant calculation. Love is our most noble science, most brilliant invention. Love, love is our greatest genius. As genius as the fire of the stars, still eyes that are still watching us. Thank you.